Hi, I'm Henry. I have been thinking about all of you. I wish you all to have a happy and healthy new year. Thank you. Thank you, Henry. Henry is one of our past presidents who we are honoring this evening. He is, in fact, our oldest past president of all of the past presidents. We currently have 14 past presidents who are alive. I'm sad to say that at the end of last year, we lost three past presidents. Um, but included in our list of the living past presidents now, we have David, better known as Buddy Rubenstein, and Herb Miller, Sue Rubenstein, Sidney Kent, Carl Goodman, Bill Bronig, Jeff Weiss, Fred Kent, Mitch Neustadt, Craig Toys, Donald Posner, Gary Abrams, and John Black. We will, of course, also be honoring our current president. We have been around for 150 years. There are many presidents who we have had over the past 150 years. And this weekend, I felt especially appropriate to be honoring them because it is Shabbat Shuva. It's a Shabbat when we look back, when we turn around, when we're doing repentance is to Shuva. This is just Shuva. It's just turning around again. And the Torah portion this week speaks of, there's a quote that I think you'll appreciate. It says, remember the days of old, consider the years of ages past. Ask your parent who will inform you, your elders who will tell you. We have been very, very grateful over the past 150 years to have some wonderful leaders. And I appreciate every one of the leaders who you will see tonight, who have guided me, who have inspired me, and this congregation so that we can reach this special moment. So as we begin our Shabbat service, we take a deep breath. Let it out slowly. Breathe in again, the new year. Let out anything that was stressing us, and we get ready to begin our very special Shabbat Shuvah service. We're Sue and Buddy, and we've both been president. It's been our pleasure to both be presidents of the temple. Uh, we want to wish everybody a very happy and healthy new year. We miss seeing our friends. And we hope to see all of you soon on South Hill. Okay. I'm now going to bless the candles. Baruch Kata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Holam. Asher Kitshanu B'Mitzvah Sav Vitzivanu L'Hadlik Ner Shel Shabbat. And now I'll do the wine. Baruch Kata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Holam. Barei Barei Agat. Blessed are Thou, the Lord our God, the King of the Universe. Who could the fruit of the vine. Good evening. I'm Sydney, and I'm a participant in tonight's service. I have been a president of B'nai Zion, and it was my pleasure and honor to serve. This evening, Hollis Ann and I want to wish everyone a wonderful, healthy, wonderful New Year's for you and your family. This is Bill. I just want to say that it was a pleasure to be the president of B'nai Zion Congregation. I have a real attachment to B'nai Zion because this is the congregation in which I was raised, in which Helene and I were married, and in which we raised our children. There are days when we seek material things, and measure failure by what we do not own. On Shabbos, we wish not to acquire, but to share. There are days when we exploit nature with reckless greed. On Shabbos, we stand in wonder before the mystery of creation. There are days when we think only of ourselves. On Shabbos, we open our hearts to the needs of others. Therefore, we welcome Shabbat, Day of rest, day of joy, day of peace, and always remember life is good. Hi, I'm Gary, and it has been an honor to serve as president of B'nai Zion. I want to wish everyone a happy, healthy, and sweet new year. I'm Fred, 
and it was my honor to serve as past president of B'nai Zion. I want to wish everyone a happy, healthy, and sweet new year. I really enjoyed being president, and it really changed my life for the better. The synagogue is the sanctuary of Israel. Born of our longing for the living God, it has been to Israel throughout our wanderings a visible token of the presence of God in our people's midst. Its beauty is the beauty of holiness. Steadfast, it has stood as the champion of justice, mercy, and peace. Its truths are true for all people. Its love is a love for all people. Its God is the God of all people, as it has been said. My house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. Let all the family of Israel, all who hunger for righteousness, all who seek the eternal, find God here and here find life. Hi, I'm John. It's been my honor to serve as president of B'nai Zion. On behalf of the current board, Jerry and I would like to wish each and every one of you a happy, healthy, and peaceful new year. Oh God, how can we know you? Where can we find you? You are as close to us as breathing, yet you are farther than the furthermost star. You are as mysterious as the vast solitudes of night, yet as familiar to us as the light of the sun. To Moses you said, you cannot see my face, but I will make all my goodness pass before you. Even so does your goodness pass before us in the realm of nature and in the joys and sorrows of life. Hi, I am Kathy. It is my honor to serve as president of B'nai Zion. I want to wish everyone a happy, healthy, and sweet new year. When justice burns within us like a flaming fire, when love evokes willing sacrifice from us, when to the last full measure of selfless devotion, we demonstrate our belief in the ultimate triumph of truth and righteousness. Then your goodness enters our lives and we can begin to change the world. And then you live within our hearts and we through righteousness behold your presence. Yit kadal vayit kadash meraba Amen be'alma divra chirute v'yam lich malchute V'chai echon uv'yom mechon uv'chai d'chol b'it Yisrael Ba'agala u'zman kariv v'yimru Amen Yehesh meraba mevarach le'alam olme almaya Yit barach v'yish tahabach v'yit par v'yit ramam v'yit nase v'yit hadar v'yit ale v'yit halash medikudsha brichu le'elam in kol birchata v'shirata tush birchata v'nechemata da amiran be'alema v'himru amen.
ואהבת את אדוני אלוהיך בכל לבבך ובכל נפשך ובכל מאודיך והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכי מצווך היום על לבביך ושיננתם לבניך ודיברת בם ושבתך בביתך ובלכתך בדרך ובשוך בך ובקומך וקשרתם לאות על ידיך והיו לתותפות בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי והייתם קדושים לאלוהיכם אני אדוני אלוהיכם אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים להיות לכם לאלוהים אני אדוני אלוהיכם אדוני אלוהיכם אמת You shall love your eternal God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your being. Set these words, which I command you this day, upon your heart. Teach them faithfully to your children. Speak of them in your home and on your way, when you lie down and when you rise up. Bind them as a sign upon your hand. Let them be symbols before your eyes. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Be mindful of all my mitzvot and do them. So shall you consecrate yourselves to your God. I am your eternal God who led you out of Egypt to be your God. I am your eternal God. Hello, I'm Herb. As a past president, it is always an honor for me to wish a happy, healthy, prosperous new year to everyone. Lashana Tova. Hi, everyone. I'm Craig. Glad to be here with you all. I look forward to really being here with you all in the future, in person. I, the Eternal One, have called you to righteousness and taken you by the hand and kept you. I have made you a covenant people, a light to the nations. We are Israel, witness to the covenant between God and God's children. This is the covenant I make with Israel. I will place my Torah in your midst and write it upon your hearts. I will be your God, and you shall be my people. We are Israel. Our Torah forbids the worship of race or nation, possessions or power. You who worship gods that cannot save you, hear the words of the Eternal One. I am God, there is none else. We are Israel. Our prophets proclaimed an exalted vision for the world. Hate evil and love what is good. Let justice well up as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. We are Israel, schooled in the suffering of the oppressed. You shall not oppress your neighbors nor rob them. You shall not stand idle while your neighbor bleeds. We are Israel, taught to beat swords into plowshares, commanded to pursue peace. Violence shall no longer be heard in your land, desolation and destruction within your borders. All your children will be taught of your God, and great shall be the peace of your children. We are Israel, O God, when we are witnesses to your love and messengers of truth. You are my witnesses, says the Eternal One, and my servant whom I have chosen. Know me, therefore, and put your trust in me. We are Israel, O God, when we proclaim you, God our Redeemer, as did our ancestors on the shores of the Red Sea. <laughs> Yeah.
Shabbat Shalom, everybody. I'm Mitch. I'm one of the past presidents of B'nai Zion, a place I'm proud to have served, a place I loved, a place I love to come and participate. Molly and I want to wish everyone a happy, healthy, and sweet new year, and one filled with peace and happiness. Shabbat Shalom. May we lie down this night in peace and rise up to life renewed. Oh God, spread over us your shelter of peace, of quiet and calm, and bless us with the rest. And let a time come when morning will bring no word of war or famine or anguish, a time of happiness and contentment and rest. We give thanks for the night and its rest, and the promise of peace for all the world. Adonai sifatai tiftach ufi agid tehilatecha. Eternal God, open my high lips that my mouth may declare your glory. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu velohe avotenu v'imotenu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Lea, Elohe Rachel, Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor v'Hanora, El Elyon Gomel Hasadim Tovim. וקונה הכל, וזוכר חסדי אבות ואימהות, ומביא גאולה לבני בניהם, למען שמו באהבה. about our choir, that they know so many versions that he hits one chord and they all start singing a different version. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool, actually. Melech ozer umoshia humagen Baruch atah Adonai Magen Avraham Ve'ezrat Sarah Eternal is your might, O God. All life is your gift. Great is your power to save. With love you sustain the living. With great compassion, give life to all. You send help to the falling and healing to the sick. You bring freedom to the captive and keep faith with those who sleep in the dust. Who is like you, mighty one, author of life and death, source of salvation? Who is like you, source of mercy? In compassion, you sustain the life of your children. We praise you, O God, the source of life. You are Kadosh, holy. Your name is Kadosh, holy, and those who strive to be Kadoshim, holy, declare your glory day by day. We praise you, Eternal One. You rule in holiness. Baruch Atah Adonai HaMelech HaKadosh. Our God, God of our fathers and our mothers, may our rest on this day be pleasing in your sight. Sanctify us with your mitzvot and let your Torah be our way of life. Satisfy us with your goodness, gladden us with your salvation, and purify our hearts to serve you in truth. In your gracious love, eternal God, let your holy Sabbath remain our heritage, that all Israel, hallowing your name, may find rest and peace. 
We praise you, O God, for the Sabbath and its holiness. Be gracious, eternal God, to your people Israel, and receive our prayers with love. O may our worship always be acceptable to you. Fill us with the knowledge that you are near to all who seek you in truth. Let our eyes behold your presence in our midst and in the midst of our people in Zion. We praise you, O God, whose presence gives life to Zion and all Israel. We gratefully acknowledge that you are our God and the God of our people, the God of all generations. You are the rock of our life, the power that shields us in every age. We thank you and sing your praises for our lives which are in your hand, for our souls which are in your keeping, for the signs of your presence we encounter every day, and for your wondrous gifts at all times, morning, noon, and night. You are goodness. Your mercies never end. You are compassion. Your love will never fail. You have always been our hope. For all these things, O sovereign God, let your name be forever exalted and blessed. Let life abundant be the heritage of all the children of your covenant. O God, our Redeemer and Helper, let all who live affirm you and praise your name in truth. Eternal God, whose nature is goodness, we give you thanks and praise. Shalom Rab al Yisrael Amcha Tassim Lo'olam Shalom Rab al Yisrael Amcha Tassim Lo'olam Ki Atahu Melech Adon Lekol HaShalom Shalom, Shalom, Rav al Yisrael Amcha, Tassim Lo'olam. Shalom, Rav al Yisrael Amcha, Tassim Lo'olam. V'tob enecha levarich et amcha. There are many things that we've come to our service about which we needed to pray. Up until now, all of the prayers have been words that have been given to us by tradition, by poets, by sages. At this point in our service, we take a moment to pray silently whatever is in our hearts. We take a moment of silent prayer. Yihiu l'ratzon May the words of my mouth Imre fi vehegyon libi And the meditations of my heart Lefanecha Be acceptable to you Lefanecha Be acceptable to you 
Adonai Tzuri God my rock Tzuri Vigohali My rock and my redeemer Adonai Tzuri God, my rock, the Goali, and Redeemer. At this point in our service, our hearts and our prayers turn to all who are ill, recuperating, dealing with the consequences of confinement, coping with the recent deaths of loved ones. This week we're praying especially also for those who are recuperating from the storms and those who are trying to escape and stay safe or recuperate from the fires in the West. And we say prayers for those who are recuperating or suffering from COVID-19. May the Eternal One who blesses all life, bless and strengthen all of us who struggle against illness. May we whose lives are touched by illness be blessed with faith, courage, love, and caring. May we experience the support and sustenance of family, friends, companions, and community. May we be granted restful nights and days of comfort. We pray for Rifua Shalema, precious moments of healing and a sense of wholeness in body and soul. May those who care for the sick with their hands, their voices, and their hearts be blessed with courage and stamina. May those who pursue healing through medical skill and knowledge be blessed with insight, patience, and compassion. May all of us, the sick and the well together, find courage and hope. And let us say, Amen. And it has become our tradition at B'nai Zion to honor and bless those who we consider our heroes. Mishaberach avotenu ve'imotenu, may the one who blessed and protected our ancestors guard all those whom we have entrusted with the responsibility of defending our freedom, protecting us, healing us, or serving us. In this country, in the land of Israel, and everywhere they've been called to serve, Give them courage to succeed and strength to persevere. May they return home safely. And let us say, Amen. Shabbat Shalom. I am back in the old B'nai Zion. Um, I chose to be here partially because there is a shofar right there in one of the magnificent stained glass windows. And the Torah portion this week is Ha'azinu, which means something like give an ear, lend an ear. It has to do with listening. As we talked about last week, the shofar blasts remind us to listen. There are a kind of a wake-up call. But I don't think that's the only thing that we need to listen to. I might say that one of the advantages, if I could say, of the pandemic is that the world in some ways became, in some ways, became quieter. If you stepped outside, you can hear the birds better. If you stayed inside, the world was quieter and calmer. The world outside was not always calm, but the world inside was calmer, and I do think that it taught me to to listen better. Uh, you know that there's a saying that God created us with, with two ears and one mouth so that we learn to listen twice as much as we speak. And I think that being isolated for as long as we have, has allowed us to listen to each other. Um, an interesting thing happens in this Torah portion. Moses is coming to the end of his life, and he lived a long, magnificent life, um, 40 years in the palace of the Pharaoh, 40 years as the son-in-law of the high priest, but he was a shepherd, which was kind of a quiet lifestyle also. Um, and then 40 years as the leader of the children of Israel, but it wasn't just about being the leader of the children of Israel and listening to them complaining or other things, but it was also getting to talk 
in some ways face to face with God. And at the end of this long life, the last thing that he does to the children of Israel is seen in this Torah portion. He teaches them a song. So that made me think about many things. One is, I heard this wonderful interpretation about the pandemic recently by uh, Rabbi Lord Jonathan Sachs, who was the chief rabbi in England and Britain. And he said that there was a, a theologian in America who asked him, Dr. Rabbi, rabbi Sachs, asked him, what is his favorite spiritual religious possession? And he said, my noise-canceling um, earphones. Why those? Because it takes away the noise of the world and allows you to hear the music. And he thinks that that's what faith does. Faith can take away the noise and let you hear the music. And so music is something that is important to us. It helps us to appreciate life more when there's beautiful music. It, it helps us to, um, to communicate better. In fact, in some ways, if we are all singing together, it's harder to argue with each other. And at the very end of his life, Moses teaches us a song. He tells the children of Israel, essentially, you know, you are kind of a bunch of complainers, and I keep telling you the rules, and maybe you don't get it. I'm paraphrasing a little bit, by the way. But, um, but maybe if you sing together, maybe you'll get it. God loves you. God keeps trying to give you these good guidelines, and you keep messing up. But if you ask for forgiveness, God will forgive you. But if you try to sing together, you will see that you have more in common with each other than you don't. And that's um, a frustrating thing for me right now, because if we are separated from each other, we don't sing together. When we sing together, whether it's in unison, we're all trying to sing the same notes, or in harmony. We're still singing together. And sometimes that takes being together. Um, and it's not so easy for us to do right now. Although I have to tell you, one of the most positive comments that I've gotten about the fact that our services are all online is from people who are too embarrassed to sing loudly during services, but they love singing out loud to their computer screens or their phones or iPads or whatever they're looking at the service on, and they sing loudly, and they have loved being able to do that at services. So I am going to take whatever kind of positive feedback we can get about this experience, because I feel like we get it. We are in this together. We are all dealing with the same thing. Everyone in the world is trying to deal with this together. One of the lessons that we learn is this togetherness part. And, and I don't necessarily mean in physical proximity, but we've learned something about that also. There was a moment when people thought, for example, that I, I wear a mask, don't wear a mask, you can't tell me what to do, whatever. But they thought that the mask was about themselves. But the masks are about others, too, that we don't share, that we don't get, that we're protecting people. We have been taught that when we help each other, when we're not thinking about just ourselves, the world becomes a better place. In fact, there has been research that shows that when you help other people, then your body is better able to protect itself from other things, from problems. Uh, and I encourage you to, to do that. It's a very Jewish thing to do, is to take care of each other. Most of the guidelines that we have in the Torah talk about how we interact with each other and ways of being doing the, the just right thing, the tzedek, the righteous thing. And so I encourage you to find your voice, find a way to be in unity with other people, find a way to harmonize with other people. Right now we're still on the screen, but we are getting closer and closer to a time when we will be singing together again. So get those pipes warmed up. Be ready to look for ways that you can help each other. Uh, know that um, Yom Kippur is coming this week. Be ready to treat each other as part of a unity where we are praying as individuals but in a group. That's what happens when we get together, whether it's online or whether it's in person. It is the Jewish way. And I hope that you're listening. And I'm looking forward to hearing you and seeing you in person 
we're getting closer and closer. But thank you for everything you've done. Uh, I appreciate all of your efforts to make this work while we are in this difficult situation. I do feel that I am in unity with you, and I do feel like we are harmonizing, even though uh, it's uh, on the screen. I'm hearing it and feeling it, and I love being part of this chorus with you. Shabbat Shalom. Good evening, Shabbat Shalom and Shana Tova. Yom, Yom Kippur begins this Sunday evening, September 27th, and continues with services and study sessions all day Monday, September 28th. Everything will be online, so please check the website and next week's email for links. There are many helpful and inspiring things on the B'nai Zion High Holy Day website. Did you do the shofar blast yet? I have. Rabbi Jonah blasts shofar wherever you are and whenever you want. Most years at this time, the youth group is doing a food drive. This year, the Food Bank of North Louisiana would much rather have donations by check or credit card. They tell us that they have connections that help them, the money help them 10 times more than food in containers. This year it is problematic for them to sort the food because of the pandemic restrictions. If you choose to make a donation, you're welcome to do it directly with them or through our office. Thanks to Max and Ron for all your technical expertise and creativity during this period. It seems endless. It keeps coming. Thank you, Adam Philly, and all of your virtual choir. We're trying to be on regular hours from 9 to 2, but it's still best if you call ahead. We will be closed this coming Monday, September 28th, for Yom Kippur. Donations were made to B'nai Zion or for pulpit flowers in memory of Lily Bernhardt by Bobby Goodman and family. In loving memory of Frida Hyman by Dorothy and Bernard Lobel. In loving memory of Edith K. Levy by Henry Brenner. In loving memory of Jacob Kaplan by Mark Kaplan and Betsy Beale and in loving memory of Barbara Levine Weinstein by Janice Can. I hope you have a restful Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. Hi, I am Carl. I had the pleasure of being the president of B'nai Zion Congregation and want to wish everyone in the congregation a happy, healthy, and sweet new year. In addition, Elaine Brownig and I are hosting our annual study group Monday, Yom Kippur Day at 1.30. I hope to see you there. Eternal God, we face the morrow with hope made stronger by the vision of your deliverance, a world where poverty and war are banished, where injustice and hate are gone. Teach us more and more to respond to the pain of others, to heed your call for justice, that we may bring nearer the day when all the world shall be one. Our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. We honor the memories of those who died this year in the military, police, firefighters, health care, and we add supermarkets and restaurants. We honor the memories of those who died in floods and fires and those who died of COVID-19. To lose one life is as if we've lost an entire world. May we not lose sight of the enormity of the loss of so many individual lives. We honor the memories of those who died this year. As we remember them, let us meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. Death will come, its hand will not be stayed, even an instant, nor can we enter into judgment with it. Our question, why, will go unanswered. 
But this does not mean that we are helpless in the face of death. We can and we do rob death of ultimate victory by living life as long as it is ours to live. To ask of death that it never come is futile. But it is not futility to pray that when death comes for us, it may take us from a world, one corner of which is a little better, because we were there. When we are dead and people weep for us and grieve, let it be because we touched their lives with beauty and simplicity. Let it not be said that life was good to us, but rather that we were good to life. However brief may be our time on earth, O God, you endow our fleeting days with abiding worth. We now recall the loved ones whom death has recently taken from us. We now remember those for whom we are still in the Shloshim period, who died in the past 30 days. The only name we have for Shloshim this week is Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who died last week at sundown, just as we began Rosh Hashanah. In Jewish tradition, when someone hears about a death, the first thing that is traditionally said is Baruch Dayan HaEmet, blessed is the judge of truth. God is the judge of truth. But last week, God may have showed us that Ruth was the judge of righteousness, Dayan Tzadik. There is an interpretation that explains that since at the beginning of 5780, God wrote in the Book of Life that she was slated to die, but waited until the very last second of the year so that she could continue to pursue justice all year, that is a sign that she was a tzaddik. Please do not think that we are saying that she was perfect, but that she truly lived her life in pursuit of justice, as we are commanded in the Torah, tzedek, tzedek, terdof, justice, justice, shall you pursue. On the Jewish calendar, it was Rosh Hashanah. On the secular calendar, it was the 18th of September. 18 in Jewish tradition, as you know, is represented by the letters that spell chai, life, a life well lived. A number of people have asked me why she wasn't buried right away, according to Jewish tradition. Well, according to Jewish tradition, we also say, may her memory be for blessing, zichrona levracha. In this case, one way that is manifested is that she now has the distinction of being the first woman to lie in state and the first Jew to lie in state. There is much more we can say about her, as you know now, Monday at 1.30 in the middle of Yom Kippur, we will have a Zoom discussion group about the Torah of RBG when Helene and Carl would dis will discuss how she lived, taught, and pursued Jewish values. May her memory be for blessing. And as we consider how we want to live our lives as this new year begins, may we be inspired by her life to pursue justice. We remember congregants' parents who died within the past year. We remember Dean Thomas Pratt, Lewis Carroll Jr., and Tommy Crowder. And as we remember those who died at this season in years past, we take them into our hearts with our own. We remember those whose yurt sites we observed uh, during the past week. We remember those whose yurt sites we observed during the past week. Isaac Abramson, Marion Berg, Nathan Bernstein, Kathleen Boyd, Frida Horn, Jacob Kaplan, Mose Kaufman, Edith K. Levy, Herman Loeb, Betty Ann Mannheim, Joseph Marcus, Amy Marcus, Francis Matloff, Theo Meyer, Hyman Nierman, Clara Levine Rosenzweig, Isaac Rubin, Molly Shapiro, Barbara Weinstein, Mandel Wiseman, Betty Eichenbaum Wiener. In this moment of memory, our griefs and sympathies are mingled. Loving God, we praise your name. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shemei raba, be'alma divra chiruteh v'yamlich malchuteh, b'chayechon uv'yomechon uv'chayei d'chol b'et Yisrael, ba'agala uv'izman kariv v'imru. Amen. Yehe Shme Raba Mevarach La Alam Ul Alme Almaya Yit Barach Vishtabach Vit Paar Vit Romam Vit Nase Vit Hadar Vit Ale Vit Halal Shme de Kudsha Barihu La Ela Min Kol Birchata Vashirata Tush Bechata Venechemata 
da amiran be'alma v'imru amen. Yehe shalama raba min shamaya v'chaim alenu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. Ose shalom b'mromav hu ya'ase shalom alenu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. May the source of peace bestow peace on all who mourn and may we be a source of comfort to all who are bereaved. Amen. what I've got, a challah that reminds us of our cyclical year. It's adorable, and it looks wonderful. It smells great. Hamotzi lechem in haaretz, we give thanks to God for bread. Our voices rise in song together, as our joyful prayer is said. Baruch at Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamotzi lechem in haaretz. Bateavon. Yevarecha Chadonai Vishmarecha. May God bless you. May God protect you. Yaer Adonai Panave Lecha Vichoneka. May the light of God's face shine upon you, be gracious to you. Yisa Adonai Panave Lecha. Vyasem Lecha Shalom. May God's face be lifted up to you. May God grant you peace. Shabbat Shalom.